reduction in overallocation. Okay, so at, as I mentioned, to complete the entire process, remember we start from materials, assigning cost of labor, assigning the cost of indirect materials, and in, indirect cost into work in process. Now from this category here, we want to decide what, what is the amount of cost that actually transfers to finished goods? What is the cost of the completed goods that's ready for sale? Okay, so this is the portion that we're trying to get to, and then at the end we want to adjust the underallocation and overallocation part. So first of all, when it becomes finished goods, assuming the total cost is 644,600, after calculating, measuring the cost of the completed goods. So of these three categories of cost, the actual cost incurred that turns into finished goods cost this much, and we transfer it over to finished goods inventory account. So this is the first entry there. Finished goods inventory, you can understand it the same as the inventory category you learn in financial accounting. But at that time, we were just talking about merchandising companies. And when we purchase the inventory, we just directly debit inventory, credit accounts payable, right? So this finished goods, we the reason why we have finished goods in front of it is because we have many different types of inventory, so don't want to confuse you. But here, really, the finished goods inventory, this is the part that is ready for sale, just like the inventory term you learn in financial accounting. Okay, so once we transfer this over, this is ready for sale. As sales happens, we will transfer finished goods inventory into cost of goods sold as it happens. Every time we make sales to customer, we have two entries. Remember, sales entry, two entries. One is related to the retail price. This, we haven't been talking about this, so just assume this retail price is set at this number. The cost of the product that we're selling to customer, this amount, and we have two entries to make whenever we make sales to customer. So this portion here, of all the finished goods that we made, we sold out a portion of it, 594,600, we reduce this account from finished goods inventory transferred to cost of goods sold. Meaning right now in our warehouse, we just have the portion of it left, the differences. Okay, so from work in process, a portion of these halfway done inventory finally turns into finished goods. We transfer that part to finished goods inventory account these are the goods readily available for sale. Once we make sales to customer, we transfer the portion of those goods into cost of goods sold category. Because it's no longer there in our business. It's actually in the customer's hand right now. When it comes to year end, again, we go back to the allocation issue here. When it comes to year end, we want to somehow, some way, adjust the portion that we either misallocated, we allocated to less, or the portion that we overallocated. So we adjust it based upon 